Does your nine bot Segway scooter sound like this? Then you need a new motor and in this video we're going to show you how to replace it. So to start all you need to do is take off the plastic side panel using a flathead screwdriver. This will give you access to the screws. To undo the four screws you just use a small allen key. This one was actually provided with the 9 bot Segway. Once you have undone the four screws, you can take off the plastic cover, flip over the scooter, and then do exactly the same on the other side. Now using a different size allen key, you can take off the pull, uh, which is connected to the handlebars. Again, this one's got two screws on the front and two screws on the back. I will say at this stage, I am voiding the warranty. As you can see, I'm peeling back the security tape that is covering the two additional screws. Once you've undone the screws, just give the handlebars a tug and the pull will come loose. To disconnect the cables, simply just tug on them using both hands, pulling in two different directions and they'll, they'll come apart. Using a ratchet or a wrench, pull anti-clockwise against the nuts and they'll come loose. I will say they are on pretty tight and I think they're probably on factory tight so they do take a lot of work to, to get off. Once you've done one side, you can do the other side, just taking into consideration the cable so it's not as easy as the other side. Once you have both sides of the wheel nuts loose, it's now time to take off the mud guards. These have two screws either side, so let's use a posi drive screwdriver to take these off. To get the cable loose from the tube, just give the cable a bit of a tug. Try not to tug too hard because there is another cable inside which is connected to the battery. Once you've got the front wheel or the motor loose, it's now time to go get your replacement and put the scooter back together again. This part is quite tricky because the hole in the centre of the pull is quite small. But if you try and put one piece of the connector in at a time and then push your way through, that was probably the easiest way I did it. Once you have both the battery and the motor cable up through the centre of the pool, you can now put the mud guard back on. At this point, just make sure the cable is pretty tight so that it doesn't get in the way of the plastic cover. Tighten up both of the nuts on either side of the wheel. These don't need to be on as tight as they were, just hand tighten them.
put on the plastic covers on either side using the four screws that we removed. and then clip on the plastic screw cover. Then do exactly the same on the other side. Now it's time to connect the pole up to the main scooter. Just make sure that the connectors are in the right place and they're connected to the right colors. Connect up the pole using the Allen key and the screws. Just remember to tighten up the screws on both sides. And there we have it, you have just fixed your motor on your 9 bot Segway, ES1, ES2 or ES4. If you find this video helpful, do give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new around here, why not hit that subscribe button for more technology related content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.